Hi everyone, so in this video what we're gonna do is like we're gonna create something that looks like this We have our player and uh, we have a zone that that looks solid But when it go inside it's hidden and it reveal another zone. That's what we're gonna create today So the first thing we need to do is to uh, go to a sprite at least for me And uh, I have done that little part that's gonna be uh, hiding uh, Something like in our in our games and I've made it just by copying those um, that part of the tile set that we already use uh, so like that I can just uh, have that sort of stuff for showing you how to do it so what I'm gonna do is like I'm just gonna uh, export it and I'm gonna put it into the right folder so normally it's already in the good one so yeah hidden area export you can download it obviously in uh, a link with a link in the description box below and so I'm going back on Godot it has been imported so it has to be run here so yeah it's right there so now what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna go back on my fuck I'm gonna go back on my uh, scene and I am gonna click on plus and I'm gonna look for an area 2d because yes again <laughs> we're gonna use an area 2d I'm gonna create a sprite uh, I'm gonna create a collision shape and I'm gonna create an animation player as you can see like it's uh, like it's been some video that I'm doing the same thing but it's just for showing you how powerful it is and that works super well so that's why I'm doing it this way uh, but today we're gonna have a, a little trick in uh, what we're gonna do so okay so we have everything so now we go on sprite we put our uh, texture here so now normally supposedly it has to be around here so yes it is so I'm just like this is on if it's like this you just need to click on it to make it blue so like that it will activate the snap and so the collision shape will be sticking to our texture which is quite handy ah no it's not what I want to do up this one voila and so this one I'm gonna call it uh, hidden area and so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the animation player and I'm gonna create two animation the first one gonna be hidden and the second one gonna be revealed find some other name if you want uh, that's fine uh, so in uh, hidden basically we're just gonna go uh, we're gonna click on hidden here we're gonna go on our sprite right here and then uh, here in uh, it's in animation yes uh, we are going to frame and we're gonna just key that specific um, frame and we're gonna create it we're gonna put it here at 0 0.1 because here it is at 0 0.1 so that's it and we're good to go okay so now what we're gonna do is for hidden we're gonna go and click on uh, reveal this time for the for the animation because we need to have another animation and this animation gonna fade that uh, when the player gonna enter into it so for that what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna go back on my sprite and i'm gonna create on frame again like this and then i'm gonna do something else that is gonna be uh, on visibility here I'm gonna click on the modulate I'm gonna key that so it's gonna add another track and then I'm gonna click on the white zone and I'm gonna go here to alpha and I'm gonna put it to zero and so now I'm gonna here come here ah no that's what not what I was looking to do I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go to 0 0.5 and I'm gonna basically so just redo it again so like this and now I'm gonna key it and so basically now it's gonna create that transition when the player gonna uh, enter into that zone and so we just need to uh, do the same thing for hidden because basically now um, uh, our modulate uh, section is on uh, is on invisible basically so we can't see our sprite anymore so we just need to go back here put it completely to the max and then we just key it and so like this it will be fine okay so now we need to create a script and so in the script uh, we're gonna click here on the little paper icon we're gonna come here and we're gonna put it on our script folder and it's gonna be hidden area I've put no comment on this 
And so now I'm going to just erase that. I'm going to create a, va a func uh, physics process delta with variable uh, bodies equal to get overlapping bodies. That's what we have already uh, seen in our previous video. And I'm going to say that if body dot name is double equal to player, then what we're going to say is that uh, animation player dot play and it's going to be revealed and here what we're going to say is we're going to call the yield so like that the animation can play and we're going to say yield parenthesis animation player and we're going to after that say animation finished and then uh, what we're going to do is like so hold on player animation finished body dot name for uh, f four, oh sorry, four, four, uh, body in bodies. And so here I have to say if body dot name, and then here I have to just indent it like that. And so normally it should be okay. All right. And so then here, what I'm going to say is that if it's not the case, if the player didn't enter into that, uh, that zone and stuff, uh, we're just going to say that uh, dollar sign animation player dot play parenthesis hidden. All right. So now, basically, when we're going to go back in our scene, I'm just going to uh, put my stuff here. So I've just also like, I'm just going to show you because I've made a little thing but so basically our level was something like that so what I'm gonna do is like this I'm just gonna go I'm, I'm selecting my hidden area I come here on the move node I just move it like that and so now I'm just gonna place it the right way and here I'm just gonna select my tile map and I'm just gonna paint like that and I'm gonna do something that looks like this okay and here i need to not do it like that so maybe like that something and i go back on my hidden area and i'm gonna move that just right here and actually i'm gonna go back on my time map and i'm just gonna erase that part and so i'm just gonna also move the camera a little bit so i'm just selecting my camera i go on the move node and I just move it a little bit like this. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to put a coin. So I'm going to duplicate that existing coin and I'm going to move it right here. OK. And so now basically if we launch our game, uh, so we're going to have that zone that's going to play. So as you can see, and if my player is entering in it, you can see that works but we have the problem that as you can see the animation is looping and so for that we have a solution which is the the um, the only real solution i found to be honest like for now i haven't found another one like that i'm just gonna erase this voila and i'm just gonna because i'm a bit maniac <laughs> i'm just gonna put that a little bit here voila so uh i'm gonna go back on my hidden area and I'm going to go back on the animation player and here on reveal uh, because that is that part of the animation that is uh, creating a problems. And so basically if it's looping, it is because of a simple thing is that this animation is uh, on a duration of one second. And so our uh, fix is very simple. We just need to go here and to extend that, um, that duration. And so, for example, I'm going to show you with five seconds. So we're gonna go back on the game. And so now if we come here, it's gonna uh, loop every five seconds. Voila. And so basically the trick here is to put it at a very uh, big, num big number. So we're gonna put it at 60, for example. And so like this, what it will do is like, when our player will be here, it will play one animation for the 60 seconds so you will be able to do your things and when you get out it just go back to how it was before uh, it was hidden so it go back to that that as simple as that 
that's the thing I have found for now so so that's it so I hope that video has been helpful for you so if it's the case don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up go also check if my game is uh, on uh, the description box below if I've put uh, the link there and if it's released but just like uh, give it a give it a shot because uh, like that meat will reward me to make those videos uh, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one see you